Hello, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Thanks so much for being here. Hey, have you got your mug yet? Oh yes, you need a mug to celebrate so I can fill up your cup with hope. You can support this series and all the other great content that I share on my Above Life channel YouTube and my Fairy Grasshopper channel YouTube by purchasing a mug. It helps to support the operations of my channels. It is a Sunday morning coffee mug. Check out the link in the description below. Today's topic is divine. So grab out your journals and your favorite writing utensil and let's dig in to some of the no doubt journal prompts that are going to pop up during our conversation today, divine. So where does this topic come today? Well, it is brought to us by the divine within. This concept of divine, it means many different things, doesn't it? When you have this awesome chocolate truffle mousse dessert and it is so, so good on the palate, the taste buds are just jumping for joy. You might call it divine. This dessert is divine. And that means incredible, wonderful, unexpectedly magnificent. This definition of divine is quite acceptable and very savory, isn't it? At some point, this concept of divine seems as though it is in spiritual terms or religious terms, wherein it's put upon a pedestal and highly regarded as something separate from you, from life, separate from that chocolate mousse cake dessert and something far out of reach, divine, divine, a, a sheer perfection. And whatever side of the neighbor's fence you're on, whether it be in spirituality context or religious connotation, this concept divine does seem out of reach, doesn't it? I mean, let's be real. Let's have a real conversation about divine. The divine, another word for God. Divine, another word for something greater than myself, something guiding me, showing me the way, something all-knowing, powerful Oz with all the answers. And yet, in my journey, I can tell you this. Divine is something we seek outside of ourselves until we realize one day when we wake up, which is why it's called spiritual awakening, we realize, we realize the divine is us. It's in me. It's in you. And what is it? What is divine? It is that pure, raw, beautiful, and perfect connection. Divine means connection. It means connection to yourself without limit, without judgment, without contradiction or conflict. Divine within exists without all of the human parameters or specifications of it, its expression into life or manifestation into life. It is something you are. You are divine. You are. Yes, you are. Even the ugly parts, even the messy hair, the crooked smile, any of the things that you do not like about yourself or your struggle with yourself, or your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your feelings of worthiness or unlovability, whatever this is that is keeping you from recognizing the true meaning of divine, it is within you. It is not a secret compartment inside of you. It is all of you. It is you. Divine is you. That's what it means. You. It's in. It's I. Divine. D I. The eyes are the most important part. The perfection that you seek externally to manifest in your human form for acceptance and approval exists already within the energy of divine. 
I know I can talk to you till I'm purple in the face. Purple as in crown chakra. Ha, ha, ha. That's a divine joke, by the way. It's a pretty bad one, actually. Sorry about that. I can talk to you and talk to you and talk to you, but it will be like talking to one of my teenagers. And you will not listen. You will block me out. Because I cannot convince you of your worthiness, of your beauty, of your power. But I can, I can, oh, oh, oh yes, I can. I can bring you hope. I can bring you that purple crown chakra, top of the head kind of hope that comes from the divine. First, if you must, yes, you can seek the divine externally and acknowledge it through spirit guides, through angels, through loved ones from the other side, through animals. However, you can warm your heart and soften your brain to the idea Yes, divine, sure. Let's come through the mind if we need to do that. However, it needs to seep into you so that it can activate the divine that already exists within you and multiply in a good way. Multiply, get bigger in a good way. Lower your overprotective, overactive guard. Fear of getting out of the comfort zone. We're already uncomfortable, let's be honest. Let's embrace are divine. Let's embrace it. And if at first it means external, it means God, it means angels, it means my grandma's watching over me, that is completely 100% acceptable. Completely 100% right. You are 100% right. If that's where you're at, that's right. It's right for you. It's right for where your belief system is at. And it means that progress is being made as that energy of divine seeps into through your mind, through your throat, into your heart, opening up and softening the edges of the heart, allowing the divine love to escape and be free, free to float all around your energy so that you start to feel better. Because when you feel a little bit better, then you can do a little bit better. And that's what hope is. We're going to ignite the divine with hope inside of you. I promise you, when we are hanging out and chilling in the afterlife, you can come up to me and you, I know, you will say, oh my gosh, Bridget. Oh my gosh. This divine, yes, I was it all along. I was always this. Why was I looking outside of myself? I can't believe I wasted so much stressful time accepting the projections and judgments of all these other people who were completely unhappy or even just misled and thought they were doing the best for you and trying to love you by tough love or trying to cure you of something they thought your procrastination or your shyness or whatever and and now all of a sudden you're like oh my gosh I wasted so much time I wasted so much time when I was always divine all along I was always part of God I was always part of this prime energy. I was always part of the universe. The entire universe is inside you. Now that could blow your brain. Mm -hmm. When you drop into your low belly and you feel that sacral chakra, that hips and womb space, you know what I'm talking about. It feels like energy of opportunity, of optimism, of, of hope. And that divinity that is inside of you, that divine energy, it grows, it expands. Just as much as negativity can spread inside your body, so too can positive, hope-filled energy. And that hope energy, it fuels divine. It is one with divine energy. It is divine. That is empowerment. That is inspiration. That is creativity. That is you just being yourself. Simply cut yourself some slack. Take a break. Kick your feet back and relax for a moment and just wrap yourself up with that heartfelt energy of divine that already exists. It thrives inside of you. It's just waiting for you to recognize that it's already there and it's always been there, here, now. So grab out your journal and take an opportunity to do some journal prompts to deepen the energy with Sunday morning coffee with this, this message today. Really go into a couple of key things. And we did actually touch on a couple of chakras, which are energy portals of the body. The crown chakra at the top of the head also connected to the color of purple. You can go ahead and journal about that. Crown chakra, divine, what does that mean to you? What is the connection? And also perhaps the color of purple. What does that symbolize to you? 
What does it mean for you? What does it represent when you see it? You might also want to tap into sacral chakra or heart chakra. Sacral chakra is the divine womb space, that energy of the hips and the pelvis, the creative center. You might want to spend some time exploring that gorgeous orange energy that comes with that space or the partnership between the heart chakra, that beautiful green or sometimes light pink. I usually see it as both colors, heart space, and the relationship that the heart space has with the sacral space. So the womb and the low hips and the heart and the chest. What is this sacred relationship? How is this connection divine? So give yourself some time to be able to play with that. I would begin, if you can, with the actual definition of what divine means to you. Maybe what it meant to you back in, when you were like five years old in your youth maybe as a teenager, maybe as a young adult, maybe in your 30s, your 40s, maybe when you had children, what does this mean to you? Today, here, right now, what does this mean to you? And what do you want it? What do you wish for it to grow into or to mean for you as you step into a new vision of what divine means for you? Lots of powerful opportunities here for journal prompts. I love to do things that can deepen the learning and call you in to the process for yourself. Self-discovery, that's part of what I do as a coach in my work as an intuition or intuitive coach. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for being here for Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I hope that I've inspired your spirit today and filled you with hope. Filled your cup up, that is. Hmm. Cheers. Thanks for being here.